Let's talk about Databricks and Dolly. Because Databricks created a chip to build LLM called Dolly. Now you might be asking yourself, like, why is that important? And it's important because it's cheap to build. Because we got so caught up in this AI race between Microsoft and Google and so many other tech giants, and we forgot that these companies have pretty much unlimited resources and computing power. And we forgot that AI should actually be accessible to smaller teams and individuals because that's what makes it groundbreaking in the first place, right? Because all of these other LLMs have been created by using hundreds of thousands of hours of training and they've been trained on like millions of documents. And that's something that may seem unachievable by normal people because it's very, very hard to get your head around that. And you might feel that you need to use the services that are offered by these tech giants and then you need to give them all of your data so that you can benefit from these new technologies. But Databricks actually came to the rescue on this one. And the beautiful thing that they've done is not necessarily the model itself, because this was just for research purposes, but they showed that you, that you can achieve ChatGPT-like behavior by just training an open source LLM for 30 minutes using only three machines and using high quality training data from Stanford's Alpaca. So they leveraged open source technology to show that anyone can benefit from the great capabilities of large language models. So now you can use your own data and not be at the mercy of large tech companies by giving them access to your most important asset, which is of course your data. And OpenAI made it sound like something unachievable as they marketed how many parameters it has and how many hours of training it took. You know, because being trained on like trillions of words from the web, because it requires a massive number of GPUs to develop and all of these things, right? That's something that all of these companies made it look like the average person will just need to use their services because in the end it's in their interest. But the fact that Databricks cost to train the actual model was only about $30 and they only used three machines and that they were able to show that it works so well, to me that's an incredible feat. And it also shows that all of these qualitative gains in these state-of-the-art models like GPT-4 are just gains because they used larger corpuses of instruction following training data. It actually suggests that the fine tuning and adding more parameters, it doesn't really help much. And it's more of a marketing gimmick instead of real progress in AI. And I made several videos on this in the past when it comes to the advancements in AI. And the fact that Databricks demonstrated this is pretty, pretty huge, right? And they could have just joined the hype, right? They could have just joined the hype and tried to capitalize on this. But I think they actually truly wanted to democratize data. And I'm really impressed that they've done this because they didn't need to, right? They could have just capitalized on it. So what they've done, they evaluated Dolly on the instruction following capabilities that ChatGPT is also evaluated on. And they found that it has many of the same qualitative capabilities when it comes to text generation and open Q&A. And the most important finding here, right, is not necessarily the quality of the generated text, but the fact that by just fine tuning a two year old open source model with a small high quality data set, you can achieve great capabilities. And this speaks very, very well to data companies that have smallish to medium sized proprietary data sets that they gathered over the years. They don't need state of the art models and pay crazy money for using an external model like ChatGPT. They can actually build their own model instead of sending all of their most important data to a centralized LLM provider. So many companies have important data because that's what makes that specific company profitable, right? The data, the data is the most important asset that you have. And you need to actually safeguard that asset because you cannot really give control right over that data to another company. You need to have that control. And also the vast majority of companies don't need state of the art models and they need to be able to choose and optimize for cost versus quality. You need to make sure that you understand how to have that trade off between cost and quality. And for these reasons that Databricks actually mentioned as well, they decided to show that it's in the company's best interest to own their own models. And if you're wondering how can you play around with their model, you can easily check out the GitHub repo where they walk you through how you can build Dolly on Databricks yourself. And you can also download and experiment with the model on Hugging Face. Now, if you guys want me to create a video around this, do let me know. And as a final thing to say, is that Dolly was created for research purposes. So it's not intended to be used out of the box for your business problem in production, okay? But you can definitely use this knowledge and build your own model based on your own necessities. 
Now, what do you guys think about Dolly and the fact that it's so cheap to build? In my opinion, all companies, right, will be AI companies and they need to actually be able to create their own LLMs and use their data to, to benefit from this technology. So I definitely think that this is a huge step. Now, do you think this will be the start of companies democratizing large language models? Let me know. What do you think about open large language models? And as always, if you like this type of content, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.